Well, this is a demonstration for the um, Zebrap bonus app. So I'm just going to show how it works. And yeah, then we're going to the um, Bluetooth menu. Um, just put in the Bluetooth on and connecting to the printer. Um, yeah, if you haven't connected yet, uh, the first time you'll be required to enter the PIN for your Bluetooth dongle, but we've already luckily done that, so it doesn't require it. Yes. Um, yeah, we, we, we downloaded the file, yeah. Just opened it now, it says Nokia Lumia 1020 case, um, it's loading it, and there you can see the beautiful rendering um, of our case. It's an STL file. Let's just zoom in, throw it around. Uh, the controls at the bottom can allow you to rotate the model or scale it permanently after you, um, when you saved it. And this is the um, setting for the slicer, and just parameters tells it how to slice the model. Yeah, the first three parameters for bed size are rather mandatory in order not to damage your printer, so please set that before printing. And this is the um, slicing process. It's uh, done with our own slicer called the Banana Chopper Engine. And it's it's rather fast, especially if, if you consider it, it's running on a phone. But it's not entirely as fast as some of the reprep um, slicers. We also haven't released a desktop version yet, we might. But yeah, this model is slicing a bit longer than some of the smaller models would because it's rather complex with a lot of triangles. Yeah, the, the, the more triangles the model, the longer it will take to slice. So that's basically the idea there. And well, for the app at the moment, it's only available on um, Windows Phone. Um, you can see Android and iOS. Um, on the Android, we, we don't really want to get our app pirated in the first place. And iOS, we need... Um, Hardware and software, um, which is quite pricey to publish an app, um, no, which, we, which we don't have. So. Yeah, and we don't really have a need to have that hardware for any other purpose, so we haven't bought it ourselves yet. Yeah. And the size is almost done. It's, yeah, it looks long now, but it's, it's really not that bad if, if you compare it with some desktop um, yeah. software that actually takes longer. Okay. Yeah, and that final stage of slicing is takes a while. And here you can see it's loading the G code model for visualization and rendering. And we have yeah, a beautiful rendering of the G code there. Um, you can adjust which layers you want to see at the bottom. Um, this is just a regular controls for doing the model. Yeah, if you want to look at some of the layers to see if there are problems on them. And this is the G code text, and no one uses it. It's just a cheaper fun text and maybe dumb it's just there. As they were connecting to our printer and the same name as the Bluetooth dongle we paired with earlier. And the yeah, if you look closely the communication you know, the the green light at the bottom of the printer stabilized the moment we connected. Yeah, we just told it to print and it's just fast forwarding through the phase where it has to heat to about two hundred degrees or whatever you set in your slices it. And there it started now. Yeah, we, we have a red back printer, so we, we have to fiddle with it and just a little bit. Um, so, but, but it works good enough for now. Now, this the app should be compatible with any other um, red print based or drive thing like a MakerBot or Ultimaker. If um, we have, it's, it's the same idea, but but you just need to install a Bluetooth bridge to allow to communicate over Bluetooth. Um, yep. Well, well, support for a MakerBot or um, any other semi-professional 3D printer that uses the same concept as a um, red wrap printer should be fairly easy. Um, you just need one to develop on, which we don't have currently. So quickly, uh, you can see the communication log where blue lines are lines set to the center of a printer, red lines are lines received back from the printer. Yes, and for those of you on normal rep wrap, you just have to add a Bluetooth bridge. Uh, it should be fairly simple. And if you want a kit or something and don't really know how, uh, please contact us because we're considering releasing our electronics package for normal users. But we first have to know if there's a demand enough. So yeah. Uh, you can still see it communicating here. Yeah. It can print a lot faster if you just set a faster speed in the slicer, but for demonstration purposes, we left it on default. And default is actually configured for that small default model we get in the app. 
the moment this is a um, high end phone, and um, the, the app runs just as smooth on lower end phones. Um, the, the only actual limitation is the RAM. Um, yes, yeah, smaller RAM will limit the size of the model you can load, especially in terms of G code. So, yeah, if just look out for that if using it on a smaller phone. Even this phone will become restricted if you have some insanely complex model. But, but for now, it can handle most of it. Yes. And there you can see the time estimation working nicely. Um, we are rather proud of it as it's, it's quite accurate. It's not perfect. I haven't really seen perfect time estimation yet, but it's, it's almost there. And here we're just demonstrating the fact that it can run on the log tree, which is rather helpful because then you don't have to waste your screen or something. Uh, unfortunately, at the moment, it can't run in the background, as in you can't go to another app and it will continue printing. It's sort of a Windows Phone limitation, but we're exploring other methods of communication, which will take, a, um, which will allow us to run in the background. It will also mean a lot less strain on the Bluetooth radio, mm -hmm. which will increase battery life. Basically, what it will allow you to do is um, I'll set the print and use the print and walk away from the phone. And but then it won't be required all the time. Yeah, it's, it's just demonstrated the cancel functionality, which stopped the print and then hunts it. Yeah, basically then, once you've walked away, you can just periodically connect the app again to check how things are going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. print is finished, we're turning everything off now, and yeah. Right. For, more for more information, just visit our website, which can be seen on the screen.